Hello, and welcome to SOLIDWORKS 2020 Sheet Metal. I'm Ben Potter, an Applications Engineer with GoEngineer. In this video, I'll go over the improvements to the Sheet Metal module. For SOLIDWORKS 2020, the Convert to Sheet Metal operation has been improved. It now operates with improved logic that reflects the selected auto relief type and gap values more accurately. This results in improved flat patterns. The Convert to Sheet Metal operation also brings the capability of now registering multiple disjointed tabs sharing the same bend face. So now let's go ahead and jump into looking at these exciting improvements to the Convert to Sheet Metal operation within SOLIDWORKS 2020. We'll begin with the same part, with SOLIDWORKS 2020 on the left and SOLIDWORKS 2019 on the right. Even though the part may look generally simple, it has varied angles on each side. This part was much easier to create outside of the sheet metal module. But now we're ready to convert it to sheet metal. First, we'll get into the convert to sheet metal operation. We'll use a gauge table, steel English units, and set the gauge size to 14. Next, we select the face that will become our base flange. Here, we'll select the bottom face. After this, we select the bent edges that will define where our flanges extend from the base. Rip edges will automatically be gathered. As we have not selected the front edge, the connecting face will be removed along with the top face. We'll leave the corner defaults, bend allowance, and auto relief as default and click OK. Once SOLIDWORKS converts the part, we can move to an isometric view and see the differences between 2020 and past versions. Looking at the flat pattern will give us even more insight at how SOLIDWORKS 2020 creates better relief cuts. To show these off further, let's take a look at the flat patterns stacked on top of each other. SOLIDWORKS 2020 is shown in gray and 2019 in yellow. By zooming into the cut relief, we can see that SOLIDWORKS 2020 has produced a more accurate rectangle relief cut where 2019 has not. With this improvement, SOLIDWORKS 2020 allows you to convert more parts to sheet metal and minimize the necessity of post-processing after the conversion. Now let's take a look at how Convert to Sheet Metal in SOLIDWORKS 2020 handles multiple disjointed tabs sharing the same bend face. Again, we'll start with the same part with 2020 on the left and 2019 on the right. Zooming in, we see that the tabs share the fillet, which will become our bend face. We'll put the model in a better orientation and then start the Convert to Sheet Metal. We'll use the same gauge table as before and set the gauge size to 14 again. We'll select the front face of our base flange, and then we need to select our rip sketches so that SOLIDWORKS knows how to rip the solid face for conversion. We'll grab our four visible sketches and then begin to select our bend edges. As we select the bend edges, we must be careful as this part is already shelled out, SOLIDWORKS giving us the ability to select edges through faces, similar to when we create fillets, and if we select a wrong edge, SOLIDWORKS will notify us that that edge cannot be used. Once we have finished selecting the edges, we need to select the fillets that will become the bend faces for our tabs. Zooming in and selecting the faces will add them to the bend edges box. Like before, we will leave the corner defaults, bend allowance, and auto relief as defaults and click OK. We'll pause the SOLIDWORKS 2020 view as 2019 has encountered a rebuild error due to the tabs. We will have to select the faces from the bend edges box and delete them. This will cause us to lose the tabs, but the convert process will be able to complete. Unpausing the 2020 view and clicking OK, we see that the tabs are removed in SOLIDWORKS 2019, but SOLIDWORKS 2020 was able to process them. Moving into a flat pattern view, we can see the difference more clearly. To see this improvement again, where a rebuild error does not occur, but still removes some of the tabs, we'll go straight to the convert to sheet metal and select the front face for our base flange and the fillet face for our bend edges. Notice how SOLIDWORKS 2020 previews both tabs, while SOLIDWORKS 2019 only selects one. Clicking OK, we see that one tab is lost in 2019, where both are converted in SOLIDWORKS 2020. With these improvements to the sheet metal module, SOLIDWORKS 2020 brings a new level of reliability to the convert to sheet metal operation with the improved relief cut logic, along with the capability to now convert multiple disjointed tabs sharing the same bend face. The user has more freedom with the convert to sheet metal operation. Thank you for your time, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, keep on modeling.